Hello the darkness here. I'm just going to be doing a quick show off of my redstone calculator that I've created on Windows 10 edition of Minecraft Pocket Edition or Bedrock Edition as people call it. So as you can see it's just a very small calculator compared to some people. I'm going to put on my El Yitro, you know. Right, so this is I've made this available for map download, world download, so I'm going to include that. I've also, I also post, oh, my screen recorder, I also post a link to my, this, the media fire, file sharing. So if the, if I don't put the upload in the description, I'll, I'll put that link in the description. So it might be on M, M P C E D L or whatever. MCP -E deal. Oh no. <coughs> well, so this is just a small calculator that I've made and it's very basic, only like 1 to 10. And with your input 1, 2, and a reset button. And so, oh yeah. So, to use this calculator, first of all, you select a number. So, let's say uh, 9. So, if we click 9, it should come up like that. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Then you input your number 2, uh, 4, I don't know. So 9 plus 4 should be 13. Yeah, and it came up with 13. So, this is a fairly, fairly simple calculator. I'll just walk you through it. So, you've got your number input on the display. This converts it to binary, so base 10 to binary, which is 1s and zeros. if you didn't know. It goes in, see there's two layers, right? there's top layer and bottom layer and it's only on one string so I've made it separate into two strings so you've got this and this and then this these pistons are the select number one or two so it lets only a certain one in at a time these are like it's almost like a RAM RAM system well quick storage that just stores the number for a bit so it stores the number that's like an alternative to using buttons is using levers, which means I won't need this, but buttons are just nicer to use and better. Then this just sorts it out again, sorts the signals into it. Because, say, this is one and this is one, it needs to be this one and this one. Like, as in, this is number one and this is number one. But actually, this is number one, this is number two, this is number four, and this is number eight. This is number one, this is number two, this is number four, this is number eight. So it needs to be this one goes with that one, and that one goes with that one, you know, etc. So this basically just sorts it out to that. These are the calculation units, a fairly simple two half bit adders joined together with a connecting row to the next half bit adder to carry it over, carry the number over. Right, then it just goes up here once it's finished. To make this subtract, all I would have to do is not these inputs, so put redstone torches here, but I didn't include that in this design because it's a very simple design. So then it goes up here into this. This is fairly big. <laughs> this is a converts the binary number back to base 10, so it converts the binary to like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it pretty much just goes through, these are almost like filters, so say the binary number's 1, it'll only come up with this one, say the binary number's 3, it'll only come up with this one, because this is the third one in the row, and it goes all the way up to 20, because the maximum calculation you can do is 10 plus 10, which is 20. If I included more of the display, you could do up to 16 plus 16, because these are, it's 4 bit adder, or 15 plus 15, I'm not actually sure, and that would work. And then it pretty much just goes down these nice pink lines into this, which is the display drive. And it, this is massive, like, it's really big for a display drive, but display drives are so annoying to make. Like, I still haven't found an easy version. So it's pretty much just seven segment display. So there's 14 lines here, because sound for this one, sound for this one. And these redstone torches pretty much just turn on each individual segment. So number one would be this torch and this torch because these lead up to this segment and also this segment. So number one would be this and this. Let me just show you. So if I just click one, 
it'll come up with one, as you can see, because it powers, it unpowers these resident torches, letting this one and this one work. So yeah, that's how that works, and it works for each and every number, and I have gone for it and made each and every number in it. So, like, I'm not sure what this would be. This would be like the number 20, 19, 18, 17. These are all programmed to the specific number. And it took me a very long time, because that's probably the most annoying bit out of this. But yeah, I'll leave this up to World Download. There'll be a World Download link in the description, and maybe even an MCPEDL <laughs> uh, link. So you could download it on that if you really want. I don't care how you do it, but if you use this in a YouTube video or any big calculator project that you do because you like copying and stuff, uh, yeah, it would be nice if you could give support to me. That'd be appreciated. So yeah. Oh, and this texture pack is a fairly s just chunk borders. I better, I better tell you guys that it's chunk borders and Navi Nexus also uses it. He's a great technical YouTuber, not for binary sorts of stuff, but just for more for redstone and technical side of pocket edition and bedrock edition. I like bedrock edition quite a lot better than java edition. It sounds weird but I just do. It's nicer, just smaller community kind of. I wouldn't say that, I mean it's just more easier to play with. Well yeah, that's the video so please like and subscribe and I am out.